What's up, y'all? It's Jeffrey back here at Flippin' Profit, and I uh, just had something to share with you guys really quick. Um, recently, I was looking through Facebook Marketplace and came across a uh, some old electronics someone was trying to sell. They actually had a few different VCRs and um, CD players and stuff like that. Um, the one that caught my eye, though, was this uh, Sony uh, five-disc CD changer player thing. It said in the description that it didn't work or that the, um, the disc tray had trouble opening and stuff at times. I was able to see the model number in the photos on the CD player, so I went ahead over to eBay and uh, looked up some comps. And that's really what gained my interest on it. I realized, you know what, this thing's got some potential. After looking through all the different comps, it looked like a common price, you know, uh, cost plus shipping included, uh, was an average of about $70. So I thought, you know what, 10 to 15 bucks for this isn't that bad if I can get that tray um, fixed. Because, to be honest, a tray malfunction on something like that... Uh, sometimes can be an easy fix and I was willing to take the risk but I wanted to get him down on the price just a little bit so I did send him an offer of ten dollars for the item and saying since you know I'm kinda uncertain if it's gonna work or not and he gladly accepted so I went and picked the item up brought it back home and before doing anything went ahead and plugged it in myself just to test just to mess with it and see what happens and to my surprise the disc tray actually opened so I was wondering you know this must be an issue that doesn't happen all the time and maybe by fluke accident or something it's actually working for me right now so um, one thing I noticed though when I picked it up when I was moving it around it sounded like there was something loose in there which is most likely a CD and that's kinda what I was thinking in the beginning is that sometimes these five disc changers people leave them stored up they forget they have something in it and they might it might get bumped around and that CD falls out and the tray starts getting stuck so I didn't see any problems with it at first. Uh, I did try, you know, I was opening up the tray and stuff. And so then I decided let's uh, unplug it, unscrew the, um, the top cover and take it off and see what it looks like inside. And lo and behold, sure enough, there were actually two CDs stuck underneath the tray. And they were in a position where I could see it was uh, causing a lot of uh, a lot of just ruckus in there really no other way I could explain it and I could see where probably it was causing the uh, tray to malfunction at times and for whatever reason like I say probably from me moving it around and stuff it uh, wiggled those loose for the tray to actually come out so I took those CDs out and while I went ahead and had it open, I threw in some CDs to uh, make sure it worked and stuff. I hooked up some speakers to them, and it turned out it worked pretty well. I don't practice Santeria. I ain't got no crystal ball. So after doing some extensive testing, uh, I came to the conclusion that this thing was in very good condition. Even on the inside, as you can see yourself, it is actually very clean. It's a very clean uh, CD player in very well working condition. And after I realized it was literally just some CDs that were stuck in it and there was really nothing else wrong with it, I messaged that person back on Facebook Marketplace and asked, you know, let them know, showed them pictures that there were really just some CDs jammed in there. And if they wanted it back, you know, I really don't want to be taken from people like that. You know, some people don't realize it's that simple to just just take the cover off and you've got a CD stuck in there. Um, and that's kind of the impression I got from this person. I think it was a little bit more than they could handle. And um, they just simply replied, hey, you went through all the work. Uh, do what you want to do with it, you know. Um, I had let them know beforehand that I am a reseller and that's what I'm hoping to do is fix it up and resell it. But when you pay 10 bucks for something and it's literally took me less than five minutes to figure out, I just feel like I'm kind of swindling people and I just wanted to make sure I go back and give them the opportunity that if it's something they really enjoy, I don't want you know I don't want to take that from them uh, for something that simple to fix um, but they were fine with it they were cool they let me know hey like I said you went through the hassle of fixing it and uh, to them I guess it seemed you know harder than uh, it really was and um, yeah so I went ahead and listed it on eBay. And based on those comps that we looked at earlier, I did list my item at $68.77 with free shipping. And it only took a few days and that thing sold for full price. I did get some offers around 40 bucks, 50 bucks. Nobody wanted to come up to that 60, 65 dollar range and I probably would have let it go for that, but um, I'm glad it didn't because eventually, like I said, sold for full price and you know, can't beat that. Getting exactly what you're asking for, 
That's the name of the game. And after it was all said and done, you know, shipping and uh, fees aside, we made about $30 in profit. So really good flip there and a really quick flip. I think it was a perfect time of year for something like that to sell. So yeah, just want to share that with you guys because if you're new to the reselling business, sometimes you have to take risk. And certain things like this, I don't mind taking risk on. I could have been in the hole 10 bucks, but honestly, from looking at those photos, I could tell it was a very well-kept machine, as well as the other things that they had listed on there. Um, everything looked very clean and stuff and I just had this feeling there's not that big of an issue with it and I knew that there was some uh, big profit potentially to be made so uh, I went ahead and took that risk and you know if it wouldn't have worked out if something was really wrong with the tray I probably would have uh, you know tinkered with it a little more tried to fix it myself that's also another reason why I didn't mind taking on the challenge because I am trying to kind of learn a little bit more about how those things work but hey sometimes they just uh, you know they fix themselves really hit the like button if you guys enjoyed this video also don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more big flips. And if you're new to my channel and you want more tips on how to sell on eBay, then check out some of my playlists. Also, if you're new to reselling and you want some shipping supplies on the cheap cheap, check out some of my affiliate links down in the description. If you purchase something through one of those links, I do make a small commission on it and it directly helps support the channel, so I really appreciate it. Thanks to each and every one of you for watching my videos and until I see y'all next time, keep flipping.